I'm going to use this image to help me create some saloon doors for my um, western scene. And it's not going to be exactly the same as these. I'm just going to use this as a, as a bit of a guide. So I'm going to create the saloon doors in the, this general sort of room uh, area here. And then I'm going to add some other props such as that uh, sheriff star that I modeled the other day. And I will do some other things uh, in here as well. So. Uh, I brought in the image and I've got my 3D cursor roughly here and I'm going to go ahead and start creating this. Shift A, mesh plane. All right, I'm going to come into this M, merge at center. G, and I'm going to drag that point up to the top there. Okay, so now I want to press E to extrude and I'm going to come out to here. And then I just press E and, and come along here. And I'm just going to lay down some points and get the general shape of this thing here. E and G and just dragging it. Try control one and look at that, and then just you know, get a, a slightly nicer curve here. Okay, so once I'm happy with the shape of my curve, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply that subdivision. Come in and look at that. So I've got a bunch of points there. I'm now going to press E to extrude and come down in the Z direction. I'm going to straighten those out by pressing SZ0. And let's try coming down, say, around, maybe around the middle there. I'll come to about there. And I think I'm just going to copy this to the bottom as well. So. I'm going to uh, bring my 3D cursor there, Shift S, cursor selected. Now I'll make sure that I set my origin to the 3D cursor, and then I'm going to mirror this like that. I think I'll pull that up a little bit. Shift S, cursor selected again there. Set that to there. Just maybe I'll have them that big. I'll turn on clipping as well. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that mirror. And now I can look in here. I'll go into wireframe. And in edge selection, I'll shift alt and I'll click that edge. And I'm going to pull it up to there for the top of that. And now I'm going to eyeball this. I'm going to scale that Z, SZ0. Come down to maybe there. Okay, so I'm obviously off the diagram. I may actually grab this and pull it down. Okay, I'll work in that area there. Three for face selection. C for paint select. And I'm just going to grab, say, all of those. I'm going to X faces, delete them. I'm going to hide that. So I've got this so far. Let's go back into solid view. Okay. I'm going to press uh, E to extrude and I'll pull it out a little ways. Select it all, Alt N, recalculate outside in case my polys are flipped. And I've got that piece there. Okay. Now I'm going to come in and start rounding things a little bit. Press 2 for edge selection and select that piece. Sorry, that edge, that edge, this edge this edge and just look carefully that my lines don't overlap control B pull and then roll my mouse up a few times okay shift alt and click this edge and I'll have to go around and select uh, quite a bit of this that doesn't get selected here so I'm holding shift and alt 
clicking. I want to get all of this on the front and I'm going to do the back side as well. Just in case I look at this from, you know, another angle. And the back is seen, although I'm not specifically going to, you know, go out of my way to show the back. There we go, just like that. Okay, control B, pull the number of segments in there, just to brown that out. Come out here, and I'm going to select these sharp edges here. So I'm clicking on it, and I'm holding down Shift. There we go. And round these a little bit to Control B. Just like that. I'll use the same number of segments. And then finally, the, the outermost edge as well. And uh, front and back for the same the same way. I mean, I could cut it in half and mirror it, but I'm not going to bother with that. Just do it this way. It doesn't take that long. Just make sure I'm not missing any section. Like these corners. Control B. Okay. May have some overlap, so I'm gonna do that again. And just Okay, at this point, I may put on a bevel and uh, just up that a little bit, switch over to angle and shade smooth. And uh, let's see, let's try arc and to uh, fix the shading. Let's come over to weight and normal and auto smooth and hopefully that's okay all right so that's what i get make sure all right let's go back to the uh, image so i'm a little bit off of the image but that's uh, that's fine uh, i'll come in here and i will select that face because it's somewhat uh, on the edge and uh, central I'll bring my 3D cursor there, and I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor, and mirror this. I'm going to move it apart a little bit like that, so those are my doors. Now I'm going to bring in a plane, and make these pieces in the middle, scale that down, scale that in the Y. extrude up and then I'm going to select that face and I'm going to scale that in Z like this and let's before I go any further let's delete that face and then I'm going to take these edges and I think I'll bevel them by hand so control B and pull and just just a few segments in there We'll take this and we'll rotate this in the X bit, like that. And let's bring it up. I might scale that in the Z. It's a bit bigger. Okay, that looks all right. Okay, array in the Z. So come down to the Z and just pull it this way or that way till you get the correct direction. I'll put the X in zero. And I'll just start bringing up the count. And see what I want to do here. Let's 
Put on the cavity shader. And maybe. effect there. Let's try this. Set the origin to the 3D cursor. And we'll mirror that across. I'm going to take the bevel off, and that's okay with me. Okay, cool. All right, so there's my doors, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, create a little hinge. I'm bring in a cylinder. Let's make it like uh, 18 and uh, end gons on the end. I scale it down like that, and I'm going to exaggerate them a little bit. All right, anyways, uh, so with, with that there, I'm going to select uh, both the top and the bottom, and control B, and I just need like one or two segments there. It's a the small amount of uh, bevel, and then we'll come in and I'll put maybe four edge loops, and then in face selection, shift alt and click here and here. E and Alt S, pull down to pull it in. Uh, I'm going to click there and there for edge loops. Select both of them and Control B, pull up. Let's roll my mouse back to zero though. I'm going to split that, so I'll need that support. And then I'll just grab the sharp edges I'm holding now, Shift and Alt, and Control B, and put a couple of segments in there. And shade smooth. To make that and um let's just focus on that and then uh now i'm going to let's see actually let's bring the 3d cursor there shift a mesh plane rotate y90 i'll scale that in the y a bit and in the z uh, I just don't know if I want it bigger. I think I do. Extrude it out a bit. And I'm going to actually delete that face. And I'm going to round these edges here. So, very, very simple modeling. Pull that. I'll put one more. And I'll bevel just like that. And if I have a, a problem with the uh, the shading, I'll just come in and do that. And I'll take this piece and I'll move it very close like that. And then I'll set the origin to the 3D cursor and mirror it. So it's not actually attaching, <laughs> but you know, hopefully it looks okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that M, I'm going to put that in a new collection, I'm going to call that hinge. And I could actually take this M, new collection, door, I'll call it saloon door. Okay, so we got that. I'll look from the front. And uh, let's uh, select the hinge and move it up. I'm actually going to grab it and just push it against, like, like there. 
and then what I'm going to do is just duplicate it down so I'm, I'm just putting it wherever I want it to be and then I'm going to copy it to the other side Shift, and I'll do the other one. Just kind of like that. All right, and just to to finish up this part, uh, what I would do then is I would bring in a cube. right back to the middle now yeah that's a little bit off so let's try this set origin of 3d cursor and mirror this yeah so it's off a bit so what I can do is I can come in here no I think what I'll do is I'll select uh, these two pieces and uh, shift s cursor selected so it's in the middle of there and try that okay I'll just throw down a circle on the bottom make it maybe 22 subdivision on there. Let's see. Just to, just to give it that. Okay, so we have the start of our room. What I'll do is I'll put another piece of wood up here and then we'll put some wood paneling uh, up here. I'm not sure about the floor and we'll start adding some more props. So there's my saloon doors. <laughs> 